Hey folks, it's Dr. Gersmar from Aspire Natural Health, and in this quick video, I want to talk to you about antidepressants. Now listen, I am not a psychiatrist, and my focus is not on mental health. Our focus and expertise is on helping people with digestive issues and autoimmune diseases, and a lot of people with digestive issues and autoimmune diseases are taking antidepressants. Now, sometimes that's because antidepressants can actually help those issues. Sometimes that's because people are understandably sad or depressed about the pain and the suffering that they're dealing with. And sometimes, and too often, frankly, that's because their doctors have no idea how to help them and what to do for them. And the default seems to be when you don't know what to do, you just put people on antidepressants. It is not right. And the fact is, a lot of people who come to see us want to get off their antidepressants. Now, the standard recommendations for people to get off antidepressants are to begin cutting their dose in half and over the course of about four weeks to wean entirely off their medication. And that does work for some people. Some people have little to no symptoms and they can quickly come off their antidepressants. And that is great. However, for a lot of people, things are not that easy. Studies have shown that up to 70% of people have negative side effects when they begin to reduce their antidepressant dose. That's been shown with SSRIs like Paxil and Prozac and also the SNRIs like Wellbutrin. The most common side effects that people tend to get when they're reducing or stopping their antidepressants are one, insomnia, two, anxiety, and three, brain zaps or electric shock sensations in their brain or in their arms or legs. Now, one study that was done found that almost 80% of people trying to come off Paxil in that standard one-month regimen had side effects. But when this weaning process was greatly extended to an average of nine months, the number of people having side effects was around 6%. So if you or a loved one has tried to go off antidepressants before, but got stopped by side effects, the single biggest thing that you can do is to slow that weaning process way down and very gradually reduce your dose over a three, six, nine, 12 months, or sometimes even longer. Now, there are many reports of people pulling their medication apart and taking tiny amounts out at a time, reducing their pill by as little as 1 40th of a pill at a time. Also, we find that by taking a holistic approach, so working on someone's diet and lifestyle, improving their gut digestive function, balancing their hormones, and getting their nutrient status in good shape, the coming off antidepressants becomes so much easier for them. So beyond just slowing down the process, having a health practitioner who is holistic and will treat all of you can make the difference between coming off antidepressants being relatively easy or a nightmare. Now I do need to say that when I post a vlog like this, I will often get an avalanche of messages asking me about how they can come off their antidepressants and what people should do and should they take this supplement or do this thing. Now look, if you're watching this video, you're looking for answers and I wanna praise you for wanting to learn more about your health and how you can take care of yourself. Good job, seriously, but I don't know what you should do specifically. In order to know that, I would need to do a thorough evaluation and work with you to find the right protocol specifically for you. Now, if that's something you are interested in, just listen on. So there you have it. Coming off antidepressants for some people is an easy and painless process. But for up to 70% of people, it can be rough. It can cause side effects like insomnia, anxiety, and that electric shock sensations, among others. Studies and lots of clinical experience have shown us that the single easiest way to deal with this is just to slow things way down. So if your doctor tells you a month is all you need, know that it may make a lot more sense to take quite a bit longer. For some people, up to nine months or even a few years.
All right, folks, I hope that was helpful. And if you didn't know, I've created a number of free reports with some of our best information inside to help with a number of digestive and autoimmune issues. They are all available for free on our website. Now listen, we've been talking about antidepressants today and issues getting off of medications. And we know how hard it can be to find the right doctor and whether the integrative doctor that you do find is really the right choice for you or are you just gonna spend a bunch of money and end up no better than when you first started. So we've put together the quick guide to finding the right integrative doctor for you with the questions you should be asking to make sure that whoever you work with is going to help you get the results that you want. There are two easy ways to get it. The first is simply to click the button below and fill out the very short form and we will happily send that to you for free. The second, if you happen to be watching or listening with your cell phone or it's nearby, all you have to do is text the word HOLISTIC to 425-651-6851. That's the word HOLISTIC to 425-651-6851. Five, one, and we will happily send that to you for free. So please either click down below and we'll get that expert report over to you or give us a text. All right, at Aspire Natural Health, we are experts at helping people suffering with digestive issues and autoimmune diseases. If that's you or a loved one, we would love to connect with you. We offer a no obligation, no pressure chat to see if we're the right fit and if we can help you. If we are, we'll move forward, and if we're not, we will do our best to connect you with the person who can best help you. The only thing you have to lose is being unsure what the next best step is for you. So please, call us now at 425-202-7849 or email us at info at AspireNaturalHealth.com. All right, folks, until next time, take care.